What's up y'all, Rob Anderson with Clean Power Wash. Um, so I had a comment uh, on one of the videos today, you know, why are you still using trailers? Um, I did post that video the other day showing, you know, our, all the rigs, and I think it actually may have been on that video, but either way. Um, so for a couple reasons why we're still using trailers. One, we did have the two box trucks, we had both of them go down, and the problem obviously with trucks is that they have engines. Um, and they can break down. Trailer certainly it can break down. It's a lot quicker and easier to fix them a lot of times. Um, but we went back. We've actually got three trailer rigs, uh, or two two that are functioning. One that is uh, in the process of being built. Um, probably won't get used this year. It'll actually be used for next year. The other big reason why we have them is because we do Christmas lights. And as a result of doing Christmas lights, right now we have our we have four enclosed Christmas light trailers. Uh, so we're going to need pickup trucks to drive those, so therefore, if we need pickup trucks to drive those, then we might as well have some trailers that we're going to be able to use those same pickup trucks to be able to use them the rest of the time. Um, so hopefully that, uh, that makes good sense. Our, our goal is to get the, the wash trucks to be um, just the F-350s. Um, we've liked how they've worked this year. Um, granted, they're completely brand new. Um, you know, they had a, a recall for the windshield wiper blade and I think there's like a thing about the child's lock which I don't know <laughs> understand why there's a child's lock uh, on a two door F350 but hey there's something going on with that um, guys we, we've tried them all and, and the other big thing for us now um, and this is why you know what's the perfect rig there is no such thing um, but because we have our shop now that enables us to be able to use flatbeds, to use trailers. You know, if we were to use skid rigs, that's fine as well. Um, we don't really like the skid route, and maybe I'll change my mind at some point in the future, um, because we really weren't able to get enough water flow um, to continue to run our machines, at least from a two-man perspective. We may have been able to make it work with just one person, but with two-man trucks, uh, it just didn't make sense for us. Um, when we were, did not have the shop and out, uh, you know, having the boxes and the box trucks, sorry, made a lot of sense because that enabled us to protect our equipment from the elements. We would typically winterize the trailer and then we would just blow out the lines in the, um, in the box truck and just put a space heater in. That was sufficient. Uh, but it's no longer necessary. Our shop, I think it's coldest, it's been like 40 45 degrees. Maybe it's been colder than that, but nothing to the point that we're ever concerned about anything freezing inside our shop. Um, so that makes a big difference for us. Um, yeah. So again, that's why we have three wash trailers and two flatbed trucks. We still have the one box truck. We haven't sold it quite yet, uh, but it hasn't been used and we're just trying to get rid of it at this point. So see y'all.